This week, we're gonna be playing Regnum Angelica. This will be a battle of epic proportions of good versus evil. We will be trying to get each other's angels into the other's kingdom. Who will persevere? I'm Will Keeler. I'm Jonathan Estes, and this is Roll for Crit Playback. And because I'm evil, I get to go first. Oh, messed up my wings. Ah, uh, you fell to earth. Hey, how, do, how are the wings supposed to go? Uh, they're just supposed to mark at zero and zero. Oh, but they, they look like, they're supposed to be like that? Yes, there's a, all right. <laughs> <laughs> However you want them, as long as I'm marking. All right, I will place one angel down. Oh, I wonder what it is. I will end my turn. Great turn. Mm -hmm. So you draw, or you don't draw. Because, or you draw oh no, one. I do draw one. That's draw correct. One. Thanks for catching that for me. I'm, I'm looking out for you, man. Mm -hmm. We're on the same side. Except we aren't. I too will play one face down angel. Hmm. I'll put mine here. Ooh. <laughs> I know. The center must mean something really interesting. All right, so. Oh, I, I get to draw two. You didn't remind me to draw. I'm sorry. What do you expect? You're good, I'm bad. <laughs> That's true. I will play the mighty summon skull, or whatever. I can't remember the Yu-Gi-Oh's. The, the... So you're not really doing no, that. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay. I was like, what? There's what skull? was the name of it? I'm trying to remember the name of it. The the de the. I know. I know. You two know Beaver creatures. <laughs> Blue eyes, white dragon, and Beaver warrior. <laughs> I am gonna flip over this guy. Oh, what is it? It is a uh, Mephisto. I'm not even gonna try to say. It. I'll leave it to you. Looks like oh oh Mephistopheles. Thank you. Pretty uh, much. Are, aren't, aren't like half your cards just different words for Satan? But when he's revealed, I get to add one power. And I'm gonna spend that one movement to move him up one. Whoa. He's going places. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, oh my god. Okay. Uh, I mean, I might as well to make things exciting. So, no, you know what? I'm gonna keep him face down. It'll make things even more. It's, it's suspenseful. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to reveal him yet. Uh, and I, so I can't move anybody either because they're not active. Correct. So that's that's the end of my. Uh, yeah, it's the end of my first turn. All Second right. Second turn. <laughs> did you draw? Yes, I did. There. See, I reminded you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm gonna spend my one movement. I'm gonna move that guy up there. And that means you get two power. That is correct. And guess what? I'm using that two power. Whoa! To cast Enigma. All right. What are you doing to me? <laughs> Each I choose one angel of mine and one of yours. Okay. <laughs> and we score them. So I'm choosing this one, and I'm choosing this one. So <laughs> I got into your zone. What? Lucifer or <laughs> not Lucifer? Oh Yelzebub. So that's ten points for me, <laughs> and you got. Animates, you get four points. Okay, um, that's not the worst. It's not the best. <laughs> and I will activate this angel. It is Kutiel. <laughs> Basically, it looks like Poseidon. Uh, oh, all water. He's all water. I had one power to my meter. Oh, man. Let's finally get some power over here. I will activate this other guy. It's my old friend, Astaroth. Oh, of course. I'm gonna move him over here. Ah, okay. <laughs> just to shake things up a little bit. I will actually just burn this countermand script for one power. I wanna get that extra power so I can start moving a little. He's Earth. <laughs> All right. Earth! Fire! Wind! I will pay one to activate Portal. This allows me to swap one of your angels and one of mine. Oh my god. Yeah, you know what? I am gonna swap here and here. Okay. I don't, I'm trying to figure out what your angle is here. <laughs> if, can't I, if, these, if I move in here, I can attack this guy, right? Yes. And they're both Earth symbol, right? Correct. And this guy is a higher rank, right? Yes. So wouldn't I win that fight? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so why'd you do that? <laughs> Uh, clearly this guy is bait. <laughs> Alright, whatever. Let's get some action on here. I'll move this guy to attack that guy. Alright, he goes away. Okay, so this guy takes his spot. Mm -hmm. uh, I will spend my other one to try to move him into your goal. Alright. I succeeded. Yep. Okay, I got one point. 
Five to ten. Mm -hmm. Catching up. For me, this game actually was a bit of a white whale because it actually started off as a Kickstarter. I remember being like, I'll back it later, and I didn't get to it, and it ran out of time. Uh -huh. And I remember being like, ah. Oh. And I'll, I'll, we'll explain later why I felt the regret. But later, we actually met them at, a, was it Board Game Geek Con? Board Game Geek Con. Board Game Geek Con, in which we actually, I was like, oh, I remember you guys, can I pick up a game? And that's how we actually... The company behind yeah. it. I like you classing up the show with a Moby Dick metaphor, by the way. <laughs> oh, of course. And it's appropriate because, of course, the box is white. No, the, I mean, just look, first of all, the box alone... I think that's one of the... Well, we could start off, right, the, the, not just the box, but all the art yeah. in the game. It's very classy, for lack just, of a better I've term. I've actually, I don't know why, but I felt like a lot of the games, like, uh, another few games I can think of that are, you know, heaven and hell versus each other, the artwork is always such... Because it's a it's a lofty theme. If it's a big, religious, epic, you're, you know, it's like fan, it's like Sistine Chapel kind of stuff. <laughs> so you, have, you need that well, scale. And that's what this goes for. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely, no question. It's uh, so all, all, yeah, all the artwork is really cool. The design of the board is cool, uh, but it's just in terms of the gameplay itself, it's it's just. An, I think you s were on the right track the other day when you compared it to chess. No, I think it that is the exact thing because the way that it works is while we have two decks, and while during the video you'll see different angels and demons with different effects. The truth is, our decks are actually identical. They have the same cards, same abilities, just different names. So. What happens is uh, I may have a lot of good cards early on or something, but I know that means if I use them, Jonathan's going to have them later to use against me. Right, because if it wasn't obvious, obviously they're, they're shuffled differently. Right. Um, yeah, and that's like the, there's the balance is very well done in this. Like, yes. Just like you said, for that reason, for one, uh, it's, you know, even if you think, oh, I've had some bad turns, you have better stuff coming up. Uh, but also just the, even the the board layout. There's always like even like one thing I really like. The angels have rankings. Uh, so you put out like a t level ten angel, and you you know you might think, oh, that's really scary. But if if you position your guy to attack him in the right way, you can kill him with a level one. I should mention the the level ten angels. There's yeah, only two. Right, one and, in each it, deck. You yeah, mean. and they're the infinity symbol cannot be defeated. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Bad example. Right. But, but <laughs> all the angels have. Well, that's what I think is really cool is. Each card, I'm actually going to open one right now. Oh, oh no, wait, we can show digital, yeah, don't, why? Don't open But if you look, uh, hopefully we'll put an image up, and you'll Maybe. see a, a wheel, <laughs> which different elements around. Right. And what's cool about that is, depending on how, if you have one angel attack, depending on how it en tries to enter a different angel's battlefield, you'll compare the elements, it'll do a rock, paper, scissors thing. But what I like about it is, with the exception of a few, which I think is actually nice that a few do have a full element, there's different elements. So maybe one, if going ahead on may kill you, but um, maybe right. going around them somehow will give you the advantage. Yeah, so it's really, it's a very tactical, uh, like the, your field, your board position really matters. And it's not even just because, you know, you go one at a time, it's easy sometimes to just be like, Wah, go around and take them out, as opposed to like, oh, he's got a wall, I can't get right. past him. And you can't like shut the other person out, really. No. Also, I'll just say in general, you're referring to the wheel and all that kind of stuff. We'll have a how to play video for the full rules if you of want course. to. Of course. Yeah. Um, and I think what I really like about that also is um, rock, paper, scissors. Uh, this is a method used a lot in games. A lot of times I feel like it can make things really boring. Um, in particular, the example I'm thinking of uh, was a uh, Digimon card game in which you, Digimon, if you don't know, they're creatures and they level up to different sizes. <laughs> I think we know what Digimon are. I don't know. I'm not going <laughs> to. But the thing is they'd have a, one of three symbols, like rock, paper, scissors. Mm -hmm. And it would, same thing would happen in defeat. So you could spend all this time trying to level them up, and then no matter what, you could be like, okay, this guy kills it, like a, the small form, mm -hmm. just because the rock, paper, scissors would beat him. But in this, I don't feel the ranks, like because it can change depending on the angle, you're not stuck with, okay, this card's worthless now because he only has Earth on the field or something. Like, you actually right. be like, oh, if I maneuver this way. I like, yeah. I know there's a whole turn I was thinking, like, okay, how can I, like, maneuver all my guys to do, like... Yeah, there's a lot of times when I'm, I'm like, oh, I'm, I can, I, there's no way I can beat that guy. And I'm like, oh, wait, if I just go like this, <laughs> he's, he's dead instantly. There's no competition. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely also one of those games where... You're constantly looking ahead and thinking, oh no, if I move here, is that he going to move that guy out here, and then I'm going to move there. And also another really good balance is the way the power works, where once you score, your power goes down to zero, which is like your energy you can spend. Right, um, and that's really, really nice. And because um, in many cases, um, I didn't realize it before, and I'll explain because this is, I think, I'm going to later go into my biggest problem with the game, uh -oh. which is not a bad one, actually. 
Um, but I teleported a one scoring guy from you right next to my base. So it'd be like, you can get a point, right. but you're losing all your power. Right. Because um, depending on when the angel gets in, you score points equal to whatever the rank is. So that those one scoring ones... It really is kind of like a yeah. game of soccer, <laughs> but with a lot more weird people on the field. You did. Now activate this one, which is like yours. Who allows me to move one of yours back to a starting zone? Okay, which one do you choose? I have to look at which between the two. All right. I don't like either of them. Anticlimactic. Not what I was hoping for. <laughs> <laughs> didn't you see him before you flipped that? I, well, I didn't look at his elemental chart, and now I'm like, ah. I was like, who can he kill? No one. <laughs> I'll play Liberate, which allows me to move without uh, ignoring their movement limitations. Right. So you can fly around all you want, as long as you have the cubes. Correct. So, I will spend three to move him one, two, and into your Whoa. scoring zone. Which gives me wow. nine points, plus one because he came in with a pillar. I'm so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go one... Two and fire to earth. I think that's oh, your that's my <laughs> God damn it! I tried to attack my own guy. <laughs> I was all excited to kill. <laughs> okay. It's been a long day here at Roll for Crit. <laughs> I'm not gonna. I changed my mind about that. <laughs> I think I, I don't think I can beat him. So yeah, yeah, you can. Mm, fire. Oh, beats Earth. <laughs> why am I saying these things? I don't know why. <laughs> you're a good Samaritan. You're you're corrupting me. You're, wait, you're anti-corrupting me. You're purifying me. You jerk. <laughs> I'm going to spend two of them to cast Reborn, allowing me to take an angel from my void. Into my hand. I wonder who it's gonna be. Uh, and what do you know? I'm playing one. Oh man. Hey, I'm gonna activate this one. This is this Bernal. I'm gonna call him Bernard. Bernard. Attacking does not end his movement. I am also gonna play spend one more for another liberate. So he can move beyond the two. So I'm gonna spend the first two to go one, two, taking oh. out that angel. Okay. Three, no, not three. Three this way, because water beats fire, taking out your pillar. <laughs> <laughs> then what, three again? Four, then my final move, to make fire against earth, to take out your angel and gain one power. I had took so long, cause I, I forgot the fire, so I'm looking at, okay, come come this way. Like, look, they kill each other, no. This way, you burn. This way, you you like you you beat almost on every angle, and I was just like, how do I get around to that? And I'm gonna go one, two, three, taking him out. Two, I assume. I hope. Thank, please. Yeah. And giving me one power because I'm gonna end it there. I will place this angel down, and I will activate this one. Bow. Poor Bernard, you killed him so early. You missed my joke. I heard, I saw it. <laughs> oh. So, with my mighty three movement, I'll go one, two. Wait, <laughs> Defeating your angel. Whoop. But, oh, yeah, it does have to end there, so I would gain a power. And I'm gonna spend the last one to move him there. Really cleared this field, haven't we? Well, except I. most of them is zeros right now. I, I, my, I'll just tell you, I, it's not obvious already. My draws have Draw. sucked. I haven't gotten an angel in like four turns, <laughs> so I'm basically screwed right now. All right, uh, so my turn. Mm -hmm. I'm very curious how this ends. How it ends? I like the light phrase. Yes, because I gave my two movement. Yeah. I'm gonna spend one power to cast portal, swapping two of our guys. Okay. Okay, so you don't know what that one is. No, I don't. It doesn't really matter to you, does it? No, it doesn't, because I'm going to spend the last movement. <laughs> Why are you curious how it ends? There's no other way it could end. <laughs> you ended it. Yep, to go up nine. Bring me to 39. Well, 
dark forces have vanquished the light. <laughs> this round, yes. <laughs> by, by quite a bit. <laughs> oh man, that was brutal. That was just, that was just, that was just rough. But I think now that I mention it, my biggest problem with this game Let is me hear it. The fact, um, not enough angels. <laughs> yes, that's exactly, no. Um, it can become really, it's really tough the first time you play it, because you will forget a lot of things and that could really screw up. It was, it's, yeah, it's definitely with experience, it's, especially because it's a 1v1 game, you know, if one player has played it more than the other, you're gonna... And, but the thing is, I'm not even talking about like strategies or things like that, I just mean literally understanding, remembering the rules, remembering to get your movement cubes, the power... Uh, I your, guess, like, yeah. At least uh. compared to other games, I felt like Forgetting a rule felt much more devastating. Hmm, maybe. But I think that might be just the one-on-one -on -one aspect. Yeah, because there's but, so much back and forth. Like I said, that's a good bad thing <laughs> in terms of bad bad things because that's one that is corrected by just, okay, we play it twice yeah. like or look through the deck. Like It doesn't ruin the game for you. As we can think of some other bad things for other games. Right. No, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, there really aren't many um, because it really is just such a... The design is simple, but not dumbed down. It's, like I said, elegant. Right. Well, it's really a very no, smartly what, what, designed what game. What I like is, for, well, first of all, we're looking at as it as a 1v1 game. I think it does a good time of each side's balanced. Mm -hmm. um, yet, even though the decks are exactly the same, there is still chance, so you're not always like, okay, I'm always moving right. the pawn this way. Like, yeah, like some games, like some Euro games where everyone has the same exact loadout, I get bored because... You're gonna pull the same strategy. Yeah, everything's gonna happen. In this, that doesn't really happen in this because, like you said, especially with the way movement works, there's always different scenarios that can come up. Well, you know what we didn't even touch about because uh, we kept talking about angels. Oh yeah, the scripts. The scripts and the pillars. And the pillars. Yeah. Pillars pretty much work sort of like a shield you can put on top of your angel and changes all his elements to that. So either he can get through a lot more things that he couldn't, or if something would be able to defeat him, the pillar will go away instead first. Right. Or her. Or her. Sorry, I don't think <laughs> angels have gender. Um, yeah. Uh, the scripts, on the other hand, what's cool, what's in really interesting, because this goes back to the idea that if I use a power spell, you still have it. Right. Um, you can burn the scripts for power. Right. But what that means is you're giving it up, yeah. which in your case, you gave up a summons. <laughs> yeah. And, and then later I had like no cards in my hand, so I was like, well, should have kept that summon. <laughs> and that becomes a really interesting, cool trade-off. Yeah. Like, should I burn the spell? How much do you think I'm going to need it within the next three and turns? And especially once you get to know both players decks, which are the same, you know, you can be like, well, I know they already use that, so maybe this isn't as useful anymore. Or no, exactly. Like or like, for example, like, I, he's used a bunch of pillars already, and I, if I had a card that said destroy a pillar, and like, he doesn't have any out now, odds yeah. are I won't need it. Like, it really lets you start thinking strategically really well, and, but not in the same way of like, if you play a deck building game, you're like, okay, what's his deck have again? Like, you know what's there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think, and that, I think that's perfect with the theme. Of good versus evil. The idea is they're supposed to. They're, it's yeah. not. They're not supposed to be truly different. It's like two sides of the right. same coin. Right. Everything is still an angel, and it's just yeah. like fallen angels, right? That's the whole well, no, that's mythology because, well, sort of. Yeah, because yeah. Lucifer is a fallen. Right. No, I don't think it's not Lucifer. Who's, I can't remember the. Off the top yeah, of my head. Yeah, I, don't know. I know it's Gabriel for the, 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 is the big it's angel. The Beelzebub or something. I think so. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> um, Mephistopheles. That no, it's not one. that. The problem is with, they're all Satan. Well, <laughs> well, Lucifer has a lot of different names, so we're confusing yeah. it because of that. <laughs> But I think in, it's a great game that captures the theme um, of heaven and hell. Uh, also, the cool thing is if you land, the center area is Earth. And if you land there, we forgot to mention, you get a bonus, which is really cool, too. Right, So right. positioning may be like... It might be where, like, maybe you want to sacrifice a guy just to get that two power. Right or away. to draw a card. It right. becomes really useful. Yeah, so there's so, a lot of different paths you can take. You can be more offensive, defensive, uh, definitely, mixed. Um, you can least, switch that up on the yeah, fly. It definitely, I think one of the... Of one of our, I think, the better ones in our collection for, in terms of a dueling game. No, yeah, for if you are looking for a 1v1 game, you've, pr you've probably already gone down the list of like more well known things like Battlecon mm -hmm. and our Twilight Struggle, right. obviously. This is definitely a, a more, a lesser known one that you should check out because it's, it's really well, well done. And what's nice about it compared to some other ones, like I'm going to use Battlecon example, which is good, but the thing yeah. is, there's so many different fighters. Part of you may be like. Right, that's sort of the, yeah, it's a different, it's sort of the different, the right. charm of that is like. There's all these different strategies in this one. It's so if you want one where you just play and you don't have to feel guilty, I guess. Right. You're sense. looking for really looking for perfect balance. You're gonna find. Like if you enjoy chess, you'll probably enjoy this. Although, but I do want to say, mm -hmm. 
if you don't enjoy chess, you might still... It's not like that. Right. No, but I mean the idea yeah, of yeah, the yeah. 1v1... I just don't want to scare people away. Like, it's a good right. comparison on, uh, and it's to a point. Well, like I said, what makes it different is the fact that the decks are... Ran you're not always having your pawns, your knights, your... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which, I, and I think that really changed things up. Even if you know your opponent might, he's like, yeah. he may have his king right now. I don't know. <laughs> right. Also cool... Um, uh, you know, you can play to different score amounts if you really want to. There's, there's no, there's variety a, uh, there. The rule book comes with a bunch of variants. Oh, I should mention this is more of a funny note. The first like three or four pages of the instructor booklet are literally backstory. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. It's pretty cool. <laughs> Which I think is, like they want they they want you in this game. Yeah, it's 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 a, it's a welcoming design. I'll just bring that up. There. <laughs> um, yeah, and I was gonna. Oh yeah, and also, we didn't also talk about the fact that the angels come out hidden, which is another thing. So you can. But they don't move. Right, unless you shroud them. But right. yeah, but you can kind of like psych people out too and be like oh what does he have under there that might it's, be waiting for it's him. a lot like you yo with the face down creatures <laughs> a little bit yeah <laughs> so we obviously we like it a lot and we recommend it yeah uh, if you have tried it or not had a chance to try it and you have a question or anything else that you want to tell us you can always leave a comment on this video or email us our email address is rollforcrit at gmail.com and of course there's twitter if you want to send a little blurb at rollforcrit and of course our personal twitters but let's say you actually want the game. Oh, you're in luck, my friend. You can get a copy at our website, rollforcrit.com, where we also have lots of other games for sale, plus more videos like this one, and uh, more podcasts, news, so much more. Uh, that's right. <laughs> so check that all out. Otherwise, that's going to do it uh, for this episode of Playback. I'm Jonathan Estes. I'm Will Keeler, and this has been Roll for Crit Playback.